four break-ins, windows smashed, and a church set on fire. A Pasco man has been arrested after what police are calling an early morning crime scene where he left messages for police on walls and other areas. Apple Valley News Now's Anna Trejo talked with investigators who say this was definitely a unique call. What started as a regular burglary call just after 5 a.m. this morning ended in a widespread vandalism and the burning of a church. Lieutenant Thomas Groom with the Pasco Police Department says officers were dispatched to broken windows at the former Bank of America building on Lewis Street, but the calls kept coming. Celebration One Salon on West Clark Street had its window smashed. Then the suspected vandal went to Atomic Foods on North 4th Avenue, <laughs> smashed through the window and broke into the cash register, stealing thousands in cash. Next came about 6.15 this morning, I got a report of a, a fire at the church on 1207 West Court, and uh, we responded as such. A fire reported at the Apostolic Lutheran Church of the Tri-Cities on West Court Street. When officers responded initially, the building was on fire. Pasco Fire responded and began dealing with that issue. Our officers set up containment around the area in case our suspect was still in the area. Um, once suspect, or once uh, containment was set up, one of our officers did see him in the containment area. He was challenged, um, either began to flee um, or uh, resist arrest in one way or the, one way or the other, uh, and a taser was applied to take him into custody. As soon as the smoke cleared and police and fire could get into the area, they found a message from their suspect. Yeah, so that was uh, something we were not expecting. Mm -hmm. um, it does appear that there was uh, a message written by the suspect who identified himself in the message. We believe he wrote it in his own blood, um, so it's, it is a unique call. 36-year-old Seth Clindworth was arrested and is facing charges of arson and burglary in these cases. While it's a relief the spree is over, others are left to pick up the pieces. There was some uh, significant damage, fire damage, smoke damage. Uh, the fire was located on, on the first floor, so there is a basement and a, a second story, but it was mainly to the first floor. Yeah, so at this time we don't know the mechanism that he used to start the fire. Um, we do have uh, fire investigators out there with our detectives uh, trying to determine how the fire was started. Despite the situation, Pasco Fire Chief Crowley says he is grateful to all of the agencies who work together to make it come to a peaceful end. Ana Trejo, Apple Valley News, now. And you can find all of the agencies that responded to the fire on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Sergeant Groom says while there are reports of someone being pulled from the fire at the church, they believe that someone was in fact the suspect.